Hey guys, you're watching the Winter Adventure Part 2. Part 1, you can click here to watch before you watch this one. Or you can just go in the link below um, and then you can come back here. So continuing on from a day of zip lining, race car driving, indoor skydiving, we basically were kind of worn out. So the next morning, we were not as turned up as we were the first two days, I should say. <laughs> So everyone gets in the cars, you know, and we're about to go. And Mark decides that, you know, he left an item inside of the house, which was like sunglasses, I think. And then he comes out and we're ready to go. Then we're driving off and he says, wait, I left my beanie or something like that. And we're like, really, Mark? Mm. Maybe it's like no Miss Rose. Oh, zero. Come on, you said both. <laughs> really, Mark? Money back, money back, money back. Skewer yourself here. Money back, money back, money back. It's gonna be. I mean, you can make So once we get there, like, and you get. You know, I'll show you been eating. Eating. That's pretty good. He's a soup guy. So we drive to a place called the Oberlift or something like that and it's supposed to take us up this huge mountain safely or something like that So we got some amazing views going up this mountain, you know, uh, saw like some old buildings, I think, uh, saw like a sign that said, do not jump, which pretty sure none of us wanted to do. Placed and modernized at a cost of $1.3 million. The trail we're riding in now was built in Switzerland by C. to get our equipment. First, we had to go get our boots. For me, the boots were very difficult to put on, so I had to get some help, which I didn't want because I didn't want to seem like I'm not, you know, very skilled at this, which I'm not, but I don't want to seem like it, you know. <laughs> Over. Yes. After the boots, we got in this line that gets our skis. After we got our boots, it was time to get some training, and our trainer did not really satisfy me with what he was supposed to do. Other classes were like 30 minutes, you know, went through everything with you. Our trainer told us how to walk with the skis on, and he was gone. I mean, I was like, uh... Okay, so after our trainer left this, he's like, you guys can go ahead and go. And I'm like, okay, so I go down this like little baby slope. It's called like the cub. So you know it means something like not that very hard to do. And so I go down it and I struggle 
because I'm going too fast and I'm like pizza french fry which is like pizzas to stop or slow down and french fries to go faster so I'm trying to do pizza the whole time and it's not working and I get frightened so after practicing on this kitty slope or cub slope for a few times I'm like okay I think I want to go on the medium one which was way more than medium it was like kitty extreme and then there were some other ones that I did not go on so on my first run for the medium one I go too fast and I crash twice it makes no sense both of my skis come off and they're like all the way up the mountain so I have to walk back up there and then I try again and I fall and I had to get some help I can show you where I fell I fell like in like this area here and then I fell in like another spot but guys I just want to let you know that I am not the worst skier out there that was with our group here is the worst skier out there that goes by the name of Gabby she was terrible because she was on flat lead and crashed more than I crashed on the medium which was a ridiculously large slope. Gabby, yeah, like, looking like... Shut up! No! Go look at other people. Like, yeah. see? That girl knows how to do her thing. I don't know her. She's awesome, though. Oh. Did we go down? <laughs> Once again, down. Shut Look at count. This is funny. This is hilarious. Stop recording me. Stop. You, you need me to come down there? Stop recording me. Okay, I will. Oh. Okay, Ooh. point the camera that way if you're stopping. All right. Point that way. No, but I just want to like make sure I catch the... Uh... Oh. <sighs> she was falling like every five minutes. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to film you and embarrass you. And she's okay with it. Good job, Gabs. Good job. So after having more fun, we meet some people from, uh, what was it, Kentucky, I think. And they had these little country accents. They talked like leaves. They said something like, uh, all we eat is fried chicken and Kool-Aid. And it was pretty fun. Uh, they were cool people. So it gets to like 7 o'clock and everyone's like, we don't want to stay here anymore. Uh, <laughs> you know, we all crashed enough. The boots were killing our feet. So we decided to go. So we ended up walking through the streets of like the Gatlinburg downtown, I guess. While we were walking through the whole, you know, city or downtown of Gatlinburg, I was like, do they know Christmas is over? Because this was on like January 16th through 19th. So I don't think that they fully knew that Christmas was like two weeks before or three. The Ferraris got us lost, guys. I pay you to get married with you. No, you don't pay your wife. By the way, guys, on our way walking, we I saw uh, some of my friends. Uh, I hang out with them all the time. Uh, you know, Cap and Iron Man and all of them. You know, I just want to let you know that we cool like that. So, shout out to my homies. <laughs> So the place we ended up going to eat was called Blaine's Grill and Bar. We didn't drink, promise, all my life. Hand up, with the wrong thing. Hand up, I didn't drink, none of us drunk, because we're good people. I'm not saying that bad people drink, but I'm, okay, whatever. Basically, that's how our night ended. We watched some more movies, hung out, and that was the night of the ski day, or the day of the ski night. Whatever. And it was then, again, lights out. So the next morning we all just hung out and it was time to clean up. So I made up the bed, I cleaned up the room, and I cleaned up a sink area that we had. And I made sure I was good. So after that, I was packed and I was ready to go. But before we left, we uh, did like a little photo shoot. You know, I took some photos of like Nier, Sako, Candace, Mark, and you know, pretty much almost everyone and uh, I, I found out that day that Bosnians love to wrestle so after we were done with photos and cleaning it was time to get back on the road and go. On the way back though, we saw like uh, some cows that Nier was trying to be friends with and Mark was trying to, you know, 
Shout out his SoundCloud. <laughs> I'm just playing. Mark doesn't have a SoundCloud, but we were just having fun and joking with the cows. Where did it go? Oh, uh, he doesn't. Hey, 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 get his attention here. Move! Move! <laughs> 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 you a punk, boy, get me! Go, William. Ah! 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 Bang, bang! <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang! Hey, you only take a picture hey, of the white hey, one. Hey, find me on YouTube. Are you home Find me on YouTube. Hey, hey blow up. my SoundCloud. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, they got a button. Hey, my new milk, mixtape. milk, milky milk. <laughs> <laughs> take it, take it, take it. Yeah. We also stopped at a Wendy's, and then we left that place, and that was our last stop. And we were coming back to Jacksonville to you guys. So... That's the end of the winter adventure, guys. Uh, make sure you check out all three videos in the trailer. Share whatever you like. Make sure you share the visual vibe, at least. And make sure you watch it, guys. Um, like, share, subscribe. I love you. Ah, ah, peace out, people. <laughs> so, we tried to entertain ourselves as best as we could. We played some Monopoly, Scrabble and we had music um and basically we left that to near which